Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we have a sweet treat to tickle your taste buds with. This is a coffee and rum cake. It comes together with a rich batter that's infused with rum and vanilla. We're gonna pour it into a big bunt tin, turn it out and top it with a gorgeous coffee glaze and then finish it off with some caramelized pecan nuts. This is a very simple cake to make and to start off, we're gonna combine our dry ingredients in a bowl. So first in with some flour. To this, we're gonna add in our raising agent, which is some baking powder. And then to balance all the sweetness that's gonna go on in this cake, a little pinch of salt. So salt goes in, and then just to make sure it's nicely combined, we're gonna give it a little whisk. So once you have that mixed, we're going to do exactly the same with our wet ingredients. And for our wet ingredients, I have some eggs, which I've whisked up. I'm gonna add plenty of rum. It's about 100 milliliters of rum going in here. You can leave it out if you want to, but it really adds the flavor here and the richness. To this, we're gonna scrape in a little bit of vanilla bean paste. And to mix it together, we've got a little bit of yogurt. This adds the denseness and the richness to this cake and it'll keep it moist for a little bit longer. Even if you have a few leftover slices, it'll still have that moistness thanks to the yogurt. Give that a little mix up. The moment you start whisking this, the smell is intoxicating. It's that really rich sort of dark flavor you get from rum, but the vanilla bean paste in there is gonna go a long way to adding great flavor too. This is absolutely glorious. We've got our wet ingredients, we've got our dry ingredients, and now we need to whisk together some softened butter and some sugar in a bowl until it's nicely combined. There's something about a cake like this that it kind of always reminds me of the sorts of cakes that I would have grown up with, the sort of thing my granny might make. It's that sort of cut and come again cake that I really love. And it's a sort of like an old fashioned style of cake that works really well because of the moistness in there. So you can come back to it whenever you need it. So it's a good cake recipe to have up your sleeve. Now we've got softened butter, some golden caster sugar. I'm gonna beat this until it's light, smooth and fluffy. Okay, we are in business. I've got butter and sugar nicely creamed at this point. So now that it's at this stage, what I wanna do is add a little bit of the wet ingredient to loosen out the batter, then add some dry ingredients and keep adding them one at a time just until we get a nice, smooth and evenly combined batter. So in with a little bit of the wet ingredients and let's get cracking. Now, as cake mixtures go, this is quite easy, but I will say it does look a bit nerve wracking when you add the wet ingredients into the egg mixture because it kind of looks a little bit like scrambled eggs, but stick with it. As soon as you add those dry ingredients in, it stabilizes the mixture and you should be left with a really solid and gorgeous batter. Now, I'm about halfway through my mix. I'm gonna crack on with the rest and we're gonna be left with a really, really smooth batter. So in with more wet, in with more dry, and we'll be done. Now, once you have incorporated your wet and your dry, you should be left with an absolutely glorious scented batter that smells of rum, yogurt and vanilla, all good things. Now, to cook this, I have buttered and floured a large bunt tin. This is probably one of the largest bunt tins I have, um, but you really need to make sure the butter is in every little crevice and crack so that you can smoothly take this bunt cake out when it's cooked. So now that it's buttered, and floured. It's time to get this into our cake tin, into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius, and it's gonna bake for about an hour and 15 minutes or until a skewer inserted comes out clean. Okay, now before this goes in the oven, I want to do one last thing that really sets this cake apart. It's adding the sticky, chewy sweetness that is really essential to this coffee rum cake. So once you have the batter smooth like that, I'm gonna combine some pecans and some brown sugar in a bowl, and we're gonna flavor that up with a really nice pinch of cinnamon. So that goes straight in. And just grab a spoon. 
Now, give that a good mix up, and as soon as you start mixing it, it's that really gorgeous scent of cinnamon that makes this cake go from something that's kind of light and fragrant to something that's really rich, dark, and sweet and delicious. So now that we have this mixture, you take your batter up, and then you kind of unceremoniously just plop it over the top. And we're gonna use a knife to just fold it in. So just sprinkle it straight over the top, and now, very simply, take up a regular knife and you're gonna fold that mixture into the batter to get these gorgeous cinnamon swirls. Just look at those beautiful brown sugar swirls. That is what you want, and I really would suggest that you don't over swirl at this point. Just smooth it on the top and it's good to go. If you over mix it at this point, you won't get those nice little pockets of sugary, nutty sweetness. So now this is ready to go into the oven, 180 degrees Celsius, make sure it's preheated. It's gonna cook for an hour and 15 minutes or until a skewer inserted comes out clean. But the good news is, while this goes in the oven, I already have one that is ready to rock. Now, this one has cooked, it's cooled, and I've taken it out of the bunch tin, and as you can see, it's got all that beautiful shape, but right now it doesn't look so pretty, so I'm gonna make a very beautiful glaze, we're gonna caramelize some pecans, but to make the glaze, it's a very simple method of combining some softened butter, a little bit of cold espresso. To echo the flavor in the cake, we've got some rum that goes in, and then a tiny, tiny touch of that vanilla bean paste. Now, this all goes straight onto the heat, so we're gonna get the heat on, melt the butter, bring this up to temperature, and then we're gonna make our beautiful hot glaze. Now that that's come up to a nice steady bubble and the butter is melted, it's time to whisk it into our icing sugar. So a gentle steady pour and a good whisking action until you have a nice smooth glaze. Okay, once that icing sugar is nicely combined, we are left with a glorious coffee glaze, which is ready to go over the cake. I'm gonna let it cool just for a moment while we make up some caramelized pecan nuts. So into a pan, we're going to add our sugar and bring that up to temperature. To this, we're gonna add in a very small amount of water. And now it's just a case of bringing this, melting it down until we get a nice rich caramel before adding our pecan nuts into. So I've just turned off the heat. I'm just tossing these pecans nicely through that caramel and they just look gorgeously glossy. So at this point now, we want to place them on a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. And the idea here is that they'll actually cool quite quickly, but once they have, we're gonna crush these or just chop them up until they're nice and crunchy and they add a really great bit of texture on the top of this cake. So just spread them out onto the parchment paper. And you don't have to be any way particular about this because we're gonna chop them up in a second. Now that they're cooling, we're gonna top our cake with that beautiful glossy coffee glaze. And it has had a moment just to kind of cool slightly. Do keep it agitated, like keep whisking it to keep that smooth glossiness. And now it's just a case of pouring this all the way over the top. Ooh. Just look at that. Let it drizzle down the sides. And the whole idea with this is that it's generous, so like you don't have to be too particular. It's all about adding as much as you can. And it just looks gorgeous. You can only imagine that this is just gonna taste fantastic. Rum, coffee, brown sugar, pecan nuts. It all comes together to create a really glorious cake. Right, last thing to do is chop up our pecans and get them on top of this. Now we have beautiful caramelized pecans, a cake that is ready to go. And now it's just a case of adding those little caramelized nuts on the top to finish this off. It looks absolutely glorious at this point now. And I feel sad to even just slice into it, but it is begging to be eaten. So let's grab a little plate and let's slice in. Ah. 
This is what it's all about. Those gorgeous little swirls all the way through, caramelized nuts on top, and that coffee glaze. Now, I'm sorry, but you're just gonna have to give me a moment to enjoy after all of that. Mm. That's a really great cake. It's rich, it's dense, it's got the sweetness running through it. It's got crunch, it's got layers, it's got texture. There's a lot going on here, but it ultimately leaves you with a cake that is so rich and absolutely gorgeous. And you know, you serve that to the table and it is a total showstopper. If you want the full recipe, as always, you'll get it in the box below. Make sure you hit subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and of course, leave us a comment letting me know if you're gonna try this lovely coffee cake. Until then, my friends, I have cake to eat, so I'll see you soon.